reprieve from the wet weather. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci, and we're taking a look at our setup for our Wednesday. And here's a jet stream. The river of air separates cold air to the north and warmer to the south. It is just to our north. And as a result, we are talking about warm air again today, but actually more importantly, more humid air today than what we had on our Tuesday. As we take a look at our morning numbers, temperatures will be rising from the 50s into the 60s. Here we should be in the mid 60s everywhere by 9 a.m. We do have that southwesterly wind. Eventually, though, a sea breeze does develop at the shore. High temperatures of 69 degrees will be all we have at the shore. And as we go towards the mainland, mid 70s here. So similar feel to Tuesday on the mainland at the shore, a little bit cooler here. As we take a look at our water weather, water temps are just around 60 degrees for Atlantic City, even LBI. Closer to 65 as you make your way further south than most places here. Rip current risk is low. Surf zone is one foot. If it was warmer, I'd say it's an excellent day to be in the water. But of course, it will be on the chilly side with temperatures not getting to 70 degrees. Going into Wednesday night, clouds will be thickening here across the area. Rain should hold off overnight, but the rain does develop around sunrise here. Now let's take a look at our forecasted radar. Here comes the first shot of rain. That will come sometime between 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Then we're mostly dry for the midday and afternoon. The more clearing we get, the better potential for severe weather from these thunderstorms. But you're seeing this line doesn't really get through until the evening hours here. I'm going to leave that window from 5 p.m. until until 2 a.m. on Thursday night, but within that nine hour window, only about two of them should see any kind of rain here. So in terms of storm threats, a greater than average risk for a tornado, but it's not like we're expecting a tornado outbreak by any extent. It would be a weak tornado that's around. Damaging winds are in the realm of possibility. Hail is not likely with this, and there will be, we'll say, the typical amount of lightning with these storms. Going into our Friday, let's fast forward to AC Beer Fest. This is night one here. We're talking about a shower possible until 9 p.m. Otherwise, temperatures sliding through the 70s and into the 60s. Should be a very comfortable night, and we're going to hope that those showers do dodge the Beer Fest. Here's a look at our mainland 70s forecast we'll get you into our thursday 78 degrees for our high temperatures again we're talking about those thunderstorms but it's not a washout here and the same thing for friday there will be thunderstorms around during the afternoon eventually turns into showers early evening but not a washout by any extent and then as we go into the weekend looking fantastic here i mean last weekend yeah it was pretty lousy here but saturday and sunday is looking fantastic temperatures warm not a lot of humidity in the air humidity does go up as the temperatures go up into next week have a wonderful day, everybody. We'll be back tonight talking all about the weekend ahead. We'll talk more about that severe weather threat as well. You can go to social media for the latest, or you can always come to our website. We have our Something in the Air newsletter, which you can sign up to to get in your inbox every morning at thepressofac.com slash weather.